Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Video bandwidth for the Gizwiz is provided by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. Audio bandwidth for the Gizwiz is provided by the new Winamp for Android, featuring wireless sync and one click iTunes import. Now with free daily music downloads and full length CD listening parties. Download it free at winamp.com slash Android. This is the Gizwiz with Mad's maddest writer, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1410, recorded April 2nd, 2013. Blow harder. The Gizwiz is brought to you by Audible.com. To download the free audiobook of your choice, go to audible.com slash gizwiz. And to kick off the new release of Dimension of Miracles, Audible is sending a lucky winner to Comic-Con. Enter at audible.com slash sweeps. And now, get ready for Dick. We're going to go live, boys and girls. It's time for the Gizwiz. It's the same dumb show with Dickie D and Leo Laporte on Twit TV. It's time for the Gizwiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease. Under pathology. Rows and rows of USBs. Growing blue and LEDs. Get ready for the Gizwiz now. Now. Starring the Gizwiz Thrill Game. That was so Whoa. impressive. That was the longest. Whoa. I don't know. I'm going to have a heart attack. <laughs> oh. That, wow. uh, that zoomed right past Lisa. <laughs> I thought it was going to ram. Wow. Oh, you almost killed the CEO. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Whew. Oh, man. It's a good thing you didn't there, John Slanina. Our yeah. thrill cam engineer, John Slanina, today. Let me just fire it back up. We'll uh, send it back up for a late. We have to. The thrill cam reset is always fun. Watch this. Play it backwards. I wish I could. <laughs> yeah, there's Lisa's head. Oh my God! You just missed her again. <laughs> it was. It was. It was a little uh, thrill. Thrill there, oh, man. Yeah, it's really yeah. close. You didn't know it was coming right out the back of your head, did you? Yeah, yeah, she's you, three inches to the left, Lisa. Boom! Yeah. Don't stand up when the thrill can comes down. <laughs> we probably have to add that to this the studio disclaimer now. <laughs> Page six. Oh, and by the way, <laughs> yeah. Hello, Dick. How are you? I'm super good, and you, sir? I'm great. Nice to see you again. Uh, I hear Myra Joyce in the background there, laughing away. Myra is here. She yeah. lives here now. She's I moved in. That's that. nice. Yeah. 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 Never gets lonely in the beautiful Disneyland. So many people Never. want to visit. <laughs> Spend true. time there. That's true. That's the true. snacks are great. Oh, the snacks are good, but mm -hmm. I understand that in the interest of science, the staff has been drinking themselves silly out yes. there. Yes. Well, we're very excited. Actually, nobody's done, there's been no drinking yet, but coming oh, not up, yet. Okay. we have a, uh, a uh, one of our Sky Mall devices came. Actually, we've got a number of them now. And this one is going to involve a little bit of a party, but you'll see in a moment. But let's oh, start okay. with your first sketch. I thought gadget. the entire show was a party. It is. It's a party in my hat. <laughs> well, a couple things from the International Auto Show. Uh, the show is, to, is in town this week, the... Um, 2013 version so i went over there and of course i you know i really don't look for ordinary cars although i did take a look at the 2014 mustang are you Ooh. getting one no you know what i want to get and I, uh, uh uh is the 2013 fusion because it's you know that the fusion is there uh is, it's the fusion i want is it what is it the fusion yeah i think it's the fusion that's their hybrid but they now have a plug-in version of it and that's, by the way, what it looks like when you're driving down the street. I don't know. <laughs> I, uh, <clears throat> I did see the Fusion there. I did see. Yeah, I really want that because yeah. it's based on a Lincoln body, uh, so it's very comfortable, four-door sedan, you know, uh, luxurious, very high-tech, the latest high-tech stuff in there. And you plug it in, and you know what's really cool? You know the parking garage right out the door here, right? They yeah. just added two charging stations right down there, so I would get Rockstar Parking. Does anybody ever... Has we, since they put those in, have you ever seen a car no, attached not, to those? No, I've not yet. So I should be able to... So what do you do? You go in, is it free or you put in it's a free. credit card? Or? You're free because wow. it's cheap. It's pennies. Wow. Yeah. Oh. 
So I'm excited. I'm excited. Well, yeah. wait, we'll see. You know, we'll see. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, I look for the odd thing. So uh, Honda has a vacuum cleaning system in the car. The, in the car, built into the <laughs> trunk, with a hose big enough to do anywhere in the cabin. Really. So it's like so central people, air for your car. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> people will like well, that. Well, I know people have that in their house. They have a right. central vacuum system, yeah. but I never yeah, heard of one in so a car. Yeah. I guess in if you car. really have a crummy, you know, kids or something, you could you vacuum. You might yeah. need to. And also, yeah. there's something really neat from uh, Toyota. This is, I th might be their third year, uh, is Toyota Mobility. This Have you seen this auto access seat? No, tell me about that. This is really neat. So it, it's uh, a seat right behind the driver. I have a shot of it on, on uh, my website. Right behind and the driver. Behind the driver. Okay, so the person can control the seat by remote control. The seat can swivel and oh, turn out. Oh, it's for accessibility. Yeah. Oh. And the seat slides all the way past the door frame and then lowers down. Oh, that is great. So a person with limited mobility can get in and out of the car. That pretty is much fantastic. By themselves. It, it, it really is great. It's called the auto access seat and it's available on certain uh, Toyota models. But I thought that was neat. And then my final thing is a video and... and I'm just doing it for, for this guy. I, I see this big truck called the Log Dog Truck. Log Dog. Log Dog Truck. And it's like, the, the truck is like growling the whole time, has this spooky grill, and I'm talking to the guy, um, and he said that he built the truck, and the idea, this is, for him, he said, this is really a big time thing, to come to the auto show, and he hopes to... Uh, promote the truck and then sell books based on the adventures of the truck. And well, I'll let the guy tell the story. So this is these were done with my pivot head glasses. He's six foot two. I'm five foot eight. So forgive me for cutting off the top of his head. From <laughs> from I should have stood on a bar. Uh, but this is from the uh, 2013 auto show. Hey, Dickie Bartolo, Mads Madness writer, and the Gizwiz. So we're at the car show at the Javits. And you know, a native New Yorker, I've had 26 boats. I've never owned a car. So I'm walking around and I'm trying to find, trying to find something kind of different to show. And I run across Log Dog. <laughs> so this is Log Dog. He's got Look at the way teeth. Log Dog is tied up to his hitching post here. You know, I don't know uh, in New York City if you actually have to hook that up to a parking meter. <laughs> so but it's Log a pickup Dog's truck. Really it's interesting, and we're going to meet the creator yeah, very, of Log very Dog. Down. And you are I am Mike Johnson. Mike Johnson, and Mike, tell me a little bit about Log Dog. Well, Log Dog is a truck that I created. Um, for and why are you getting so close? <laughs> Back off. Okay, and you just happen to leave it here? <laughs> Dick, no, no. Did you get no, he wandered in. So, uh, <laughs> okay. I caught him. And well, you know what? Oh, okay, Leo, I have okay, no mic. Okay. And, oh, right. And, uh, the so the mic is only in the glasses. <laughs> well, as far as purpose goes, I mean, I wanted a truck that was really tough. To me, this is did, like. Did you warn him that the reason. Kind of truck. You're standing and how so big an close engine? Because I'm a marine. Glasses. I want to hear horsepower. <laughs> All right, we got a 460 in there. Oh, I think nice. he must have spent nice. a fortune to yeah. display it. Oh, so I figured. I like how he says we got a 460 in there, and you go, "Oh, nice." Do you have any idea what that is? Oh yeah. Oh, all right. Yeah, cubic inches? What are you kidding? You're talking to a man with a, a boat with 1,100 horsepower. Oh, all right. So you know, because it's just a, a boat's just a car without wheels. Uh, yeah, walk yeah. Over yeah. Here. it's a car because that if you get out to change the tire, you drown. <laughs> and also, the book is about conservation. Yes. So just uh, give me a 30-second synopsis of that. Of the book? Yeah. Okay. He is the guardian of all living things. You, you, uh, you have to sort of walk with me because I have no mic. Okay. <laughs> okay, so... Log Dog is Talk the guardian my of glasses. all living things. Talk into my glasses. He is Talk here into to my ear. save the planet. He... He fights forest fires, he wrestles tornadoes, and he battles hurricanes. That's what he does. Excellent. So on a nice, clear, sunny day, Is he bending he's over you right now? 
No, I think he's really into kids, so he hangs out with the kids. He plays when he doesn't have a mission. Oh, okay. Do you have kids? I don't have any. Kids. I'm okay. going to go look at some but crap. You have a truck. But you have to have keep talking to my glasses, okay? Yes. And all that kind of thing. Perfect. So. so uh, log dog at at uh, bookstores or website. He's at the website and he is available <laughs> online. The guy, and the website it's is clear. The guy log thinks you're truck. nuts. Logdogtruck.com. No, that's uh, okay. <laughs> Mike, thank you so much You're for being on the Gizwiz. I know he Dickie probably Bartolo, thinks Mads, Mattis, Ryder, and the Gizwiz possibly this be videotaping this on Twitch. <laughs> Going to take one more look at this scary guy. Now, and I don't know, you are you, do you put it, is your head on a, some sort of swivel tripod? Because that was a very smooth shot right there. No, no, <laughs> no. And, that, and, and the thing breathes fire. Steam wow, look at that. Steam like, was yeah, coming out of yeah. the front. It's pretty neat. It's pretty neat. <laughs> Anyway, so wait, wait, so now, now, probably, you know, I, you I think you're probably this, right. How did you prep this guy? Did you say, look, I'm going to interview you. The camera's right here and the microphone's right here. So I'm going to get really close to you. No, I didn't say that the real close thing. I said, listen, I, 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 I do a, um, a video <laughs> podcast. I said, these, <laughs> these glasses I'm wearing is a camera. And you're probably right. He probably thought. Oh, he went I, home to his wife that night. And said he's he will never married, believe. So that would be tricky. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he couldn't be married with that. Right. Yeah. So uh, the um, log dog site, logdogtruck.com, has um, sound effects on it. Are you picking up the audio from my... Uh, that's... that's These are... Ooh. Ooh. Here's the log dog snore. Basically, he said at local car shows, it mostly scares kids. <laughs> but he said when they leave the show, they always go back and they try to get... Closer and closer, so that they could. <laughs> Michael would like this. this. I think Michael would like. So, uh, and and did he say, "Hey, you, you with the glasses, you scare kids too. Why don't you come with me?" <laughs> no, no, he didn't. No, but okay. maybe I'll be in one of his books. Yeah. Who knows? Then Who knows? this strange man. <laughs> and then the log dog truck ran him over and <laughs> saved my life. And he sounded and like guess this. Guess what, boys and girls? Those glasses had no camera at all. <laughs> So the pivot head. Yeah, well, okay. Yeah. Well, you know. It's unique. Didn't have Dennis with me. Had no microphone. Oh, oh well, see, there you go. Yeah. You didn't have a camera operator. No, no. It, it's uh, it's better than nothing, okay? <laughs> and if if, if, if a pivot head wants to use that as a slogan, I will give it it's to them. It's better than <laughs> the nothing, okay? The says, ABC's World News <laughs> Mail reporter says, it's better, better than, than nothing. nothing. Logdogtruck.com. All right, so here's something that you will like. Yes. Oh, on your trips. Okay. Okay. Uh, yet another entry into uh, power, power stations. This is from a cell. They make uh, cables. They make a... Uh, I forgot what we did. Oh, we, we did... Um, they, they made a little USB uh, converter that you could add a monitor to your current monitor via USB. Oh. So their latest thing is called the Home and Away Power Station. And this is the little guy here. So plug it into one outlet and you can power five devices. So there's a plug on the front a plug on each side. And what's neat about having them on each side is you can plug those big plugs in there and one plug won't block any of the others. So it packs easy in a suitcase. The plug is built into the back of it and it just pops out so you can plug it into a wall. So that's the plug. And then there's a little... LED light, green light, and when that's lit, it tells you you have surge protection. And, of course, the outlet you plugged it into is powered. And then up at the top, we have two USB charging ports, and they're 2.1 amps at 10 watts. So you can charge uh, iPads and iPhones, and it's under 15 bucks on Amazon. Wow. Yeah, so, and it's, and it's on Amazon Prime, so... Um, you get it tomorrow. Be, yeah, yeah. Free shipping with it. That's and uh, less than yeah. on their site. Their site so that's is 20 cool. bucks. So you can use it uh, as a plug and uh, while it's charging and then carry it with you. 
It's a surge or suppressor, it. and then you disconnect it and you take it with you. you yeah, exactly. Yeah, use yeah. it in your house to, to charge two things, plug right. in three things, and that's take cool. it with you. Yeah. Yeah. How is that pretty light? Oh, it's, it's very light. It's oh, very light. Good. It comes in black and in white. And as I said, there's another place selling it for eleven dollars, but then um, you have to click on buy it before it tells you what the shipping is. So you're probably better off at fifteen yeah, bucks. Yeah, I always don't like. I don't like it when they do that. Yeah, yeah. What are you tricking me for? Yeah, yeah. Hey, do gadget so, number three. Then we got a word from our sponsor. Oh, okay. Uh, well, have you heard of Robo Fish? <laughs> No, I have no, not. Well, you will. well, this is the Gizwiz video of the week, not with Pivot Head, but Good. with Dennis Wonderland at the controls. Thank God. <laughs> Here's a look at RoboFish. All right, so uh, two eggs scrambled, uh, bacon, and wheat toast, not too much butter, and then French toast, strawberries, and two coffee. Uh yeah, I'll be with you in one minute. I was just uh, finishing this order here. Who knew that having fish was so labor-intensive? God, they're such picky eaters. Okay. All right, here's a way to have fish without having to worry about what to feed them. All they require is a little bit of juice from a battery. These are <laughs> robo fish. Okay, a couple of weeks ago we had a robo I've seen dog. These oh, it's so me. if you wanted to have a little doggy and not much upkeep, robo dog. Well, robo fish is from Zuru, Z U R U, and they're little fish that can swim in a tank. I was reading on Amazon that. Parents love to put them in with the bath water oh, yeah. so kids can play with them. There's uh, four little fish, and I think there are four different little sharks. This guy is the little shark. Oh. And all you do is put them in the water, and they start swimming. And they have all sorts of motions. Sometimes they swim to the bottom. Oh, that's uh, that guy just went swims along the bottom. It looks like they're eating algae off the side. They're very uh, cleverly designed. Now, RoboFish is for ages three and up. And they run on two little, I think it's RL44, you know, the little button batteries. Um, it's two hours of battery life. But the thing is, you just put them in when the kids are playing. Or if you have a fish tank on your desk, just when guests come in, you drop them in. When you take them out, when Myra as soon as in, they dry off, and she's still watching they them. Will, uh, the battery will shut itself off. <laughs> they stop off. moving when they're not wet. Uh, yeah, yeah. Look, oh, no, no better hit it with a hammer. To his different no. bases. They swim slow and then they swim very, very fast. Okay, there he goes. He's stopped. Um, now, something strange about the pricing. They are nine ninety nine at CVS. Ooh, that's pricey. And to show me, the PR people sent me uh, yeah, a display well, at CVS for nine ninety nine. And the reason she sent it to me is I said, I looked on Amazon, and they seem to be 15 to 20 Oof. bucks. So it turns out that uh, Zuru has partnered with CVS, bringing them into the country. So maybe the people on Amazon buy them at CVS. Who knows? Yeah, they do. But they anyway, if you like them, uh, and then CVS is the place to go. $9.99, four different fish. I believe it's four different sharks. Easy to feed and a lot of fun to play with. So you get a Bartolo, second set of batteries. The gizwiz, the I'm going down. I'd like to see how that looks on the pivot head. <laughs> so that's, that's really cool that they do different things because otherwise, it's, I mean, I've seen things yes, like that before, yes, but that yes. they do no, different they, things is kind of yeah, smart. Right. Yeah. No, they, yeah. they go through uh, four or five different uh, kinds of motion. So RoboFish. Very nice. Now, ladies yeah. and gentlemen, before we get to our Sky Mall gadget, and this is going to be a fun one. We're going to have a little party here with yeah, us. Yeah, this is going to be good. I do want to tell you about Audible.com, the world's greatest audio bookstore. Uh, I, I know you're familiar with it, and there's always wonderful books on audio, Audible. Since you like to laugh, if you're watching the show, you must like to laugh. I can't think of any other reason to watch it. You might want to read Fifty Shades of Dorian Gray. It's a mashup. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> yeah. It's a mashup uh, of Oscar Wilde and Fifty Shades of Gray. Oh, and and uh, Fred Armisen uh, said it's it's perfect. It's it's funny and hot. So <laughs> that's just that's probably a little adult for the kids if the kids are in the car. Uh, but I do have something that I'm very excited about. and I want to show you. This is just came out from Robert Sheckley. Uh, this is what uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy would have been if it had been written 
a few years earlier. Neil Gaiman selected this as part of his a line of books for Audible. He's been doing a great job. This was published in 1968, a new edition read by our very own John Hodgman. There he is in a spacesuit on the front. Let me play a little sample. It had been a typically unsatisfactory day. Carmody had gone to the office, flirted mildly with Miss Gibbon, disagreed respectfully with Mr. Wainbach, and spent 15 minutes with Mr. Blackwell discussing the outlook for the football giants. I, can't, I have already ordered this one. Dimension of Miracles. People are raving about it. It's an undiscovered British comedy uh, tour de force. And, of course, with John Hodgman reading, it's going to be great. So yeah, I want you to check great. it out. Now, you can get this for free, by the way. If you go to audible.com slash gitiswiz, you'll be signing up for the book a month uh, deal. That's the, the, the gold account. Your first month is free. That means your first book is free. You cancel in the first 30 days. You'll pay nothing. But that book's yours forever. So you'll always own a copy of Dimension of Miracles or one of the 100,000 other incredible titles at audible.com. Com. Audible.com slash Gizwiz. Pick your title. And, by the way, to celebrate the release of Dimension of Miracles, Audible's giving away a trip to see Dick D. Bartolo. Well, they're giving a trip to see uh, Comic-Con in New York in October. Oh, okay. But, but they I, could stop by. I bet, yeah. I bet you Dick would be part, glad to welcome you. Um, the sweepstake is a trip for two to New York City. It includes airfare, four days hotel, and uh, two passes Two four-day passes to New York Comic Con, which is coming up in October. What a great deal. Here's the, here's the uh, uh, URL. You should go to audible.com slash sweeps. Audible.com slash sweeps. And you have a chance to enter now through April 12th. All they're asked for is your email address. You do not have to be an Audible member, uh, but you can to uh, participate. Audible.com slash sweeps. Sweeps, a trip for two to New York City, including Rapture, Bear Fair, Four Night Stay, and two four day passes to Comic Con New York this October. And while you're there, we, I bet we'll throw in a little Dickie D action for you. You can go visit yeah. Disneyland. Yeah. Yeah. Won't that be cool? Thanks, Audible, for your support of the Gizwiz. Dick, it's time for a Sky Mall Gadget! So, ladies and gentlemen, we have it here. This is the 16 shot glass roulette Whoa. wheel. Let me just poke this here. Oh, good. So you're opening it so it, it, there's no Ooh. contamination. It's sealed. Okay. It's sealed. Let me take the balls out because the balls are also wrapped in protective material. I As always they should be. I appreciate that when yeah. they do that. Yeah. You yeah. always want your balls wrapped carefully. All right. Now, <laughs> here's the thing. I think in order to test... Oh, and and and, and to go with this, we have the alcohol detector, a breathalyzer for your keychain. A We're gonna two-in-one. Two-in-one deal. Let me uh, put a ball in here mm -hmm. and invite some of our staff to uh, come on over because... You crawl on over. Crawl on over. We need to, really need to, and, and I'm going to break out the bar here because what I'm going to do, oh, my God, I think this is enough Grey Goose to uh, fill up a half of oh these. My. What I'm going to do is fill up. What? Is that? what? Wow. It's a big wow. bottle. All right. Yeah. We're going to fill up a few of these. I was there when the truck pulled up and they refilled it. Yeah. <laughs> it's either this or it's the heater fluid. I'm not sure. Let's see. Um, we also have a giant bottle of Jägermeister. Let's just uh, put a few shots in here. And there we go. I'm going to spill a little bit, but that's all right. I can't put it in a, in a full one. Let's oh, look at, now look at the staff. Now, I know. Everybody's uh, chomping at the bit. Now they're excited. Earlier. Let me put in. <laughs> uh, wait a minute. Now, wait, now, wait a minute. Now, wait a minute. Here we go. This is good. This is Blanton's. This is Blanton's uh, fine uh, Kentucky bourbon. We'll put that right. in a couple of them. See, the idea is it's a drinking game, right? So you gotta, you know, you're gonna spin the ball round and round. She goes where is she now to really make this fun. Here's a little bullet bourbon here. I'm gonna put this in here. I'm gonna have one shot glass. One shot glass. Funny, there are 25 yeah, people on the staff, and there are now 50 people standing <laughs> around the room. There's only 16 shots in this thing here. <laughs> I am. Uh, I'm going to put this is this is a very special treat. I'm going to put a sh one glass. We'll have a shot of Glenn Farklas. Oh, that 1979 person. Scotch whiskey from the family casks. Oh, this wow, is a so 300 dollars. This is a 300 dollar bottle of whiskey. I'm going to put one shot. That, that just hey. so you know, just so you know, that's number 34. 
in the roulette wheel. That's the one you want to uh -huh. win. But you know what? Just because we don't want people to feel bad, I'll finish the rest off with 12-year-old Yamakaze single malt whiskey from Japan. Oh, all right. Wow. They are chomping oh. at the bit. Every time I come back <laughs> to this camera, the there's more people. And <laughs> you know, when we first announced this, uh, nobody wanted to participate. All right. Yeah, I know. Kind now, all right. Now, come on, gang. Uh, I don't know how roulette we work. Maybe Alex Lindsay can help me. How does roulette work? You, you... I don't know. <laughs> I don't gamble. I drink, but I don't gamble. Uh, this is supposed to spin, I think. Yeah. yeah? It's, it's, I think you spin it. Is, is it, Thankfully, is it, you don't be... spin the shot glasses. No, that would be yeah. not good. All right. Okay, <laughs> and then you, go, you put the that floor. on there, and you spin this, right? And you go round and round she goes. Where she? Okay, there we go. So, Alex, have number 29, all right, since you, you came in here. It's too bad they're not in order. Oh, here's 28 and 29. Okay, just have that one. All right. You know what? There's all the different numbers on them. Actually, I don't think they actually numbered the shot glasses. That's one problem. That's a good one. Go ahead and try that. Who's next? Come here, Radford. Radford. Pick your number. You want it red, black, zero? What do you want? Are you a gambling man? Yeah. Let's try seven. Yeah, seven. Yeah, he wants lucky seven. I got to spin it fast enough to get the... To get... <laughs> number five. I don't care. We just pick one of these. <laughs> pick a brown one. Wait a minute. One of you has to... Okay, Glenn's a lightweight. Come here, Glenn Rubenstein. All right. Glenn says he's a lightweight. So, Glenn, we're going to spin the ball. A lightweight in what sense? He's, uh, he's a drunkard. Is, is, uh, oh, is okay, what, okay. what he means. Okay, we're going to spin the ball. Okay. I don't know what that has to do with anything. Look at that. You got 16. 16. So, but, you know, there, there's all the different numbers on these. I don't know. <laughs> we'll find it. Just drink a few. Would you, oh, you know what? Okay. 16.34. 16. Is this the good one? That's the good one. He got the Glenn Farkless. Okay. Wow. Wow. Just for that, have some Jaeger with it. That'll that'll wash it down. Glenn, you need to have four shots real quickly. Boom, 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 boom. Because now... <laughs> you said you were a lightweight. Four shots. L'chaim. All right, everybody, drink up. Because now what we want to do... Is it good? Isn't that good? Here, I'll give you some more. Wait a minute. Here, wait a minute. I'll give you some more. Because you won. You won. Just give me the empty glass. Here we go. God, I feel like... Uh... Go ahead. Just what you say is... Whiskey barkeep and leave the bottle on the bar. All right. Have a couple more of those. How long does it take before the uh, breathalyzer will show? That's a good question. That he's an I mean, It's got to be in. Well, I guess we'll know. Tell us if well, you, you feel lightheaded yet. Do it, do it now, Leo, and then let him take two more drinks. See if there's a different. Well. <laughs> oh, you know what, Leo? I tell you what. It's if good, he walks it? out of the, if That's he walks really out whiskey. of the studio wearing the Star Trek dress, he's drunk. <laughs> <laughs> that we don't yet have. Oh, no, the Star even Trek is, better. We got. We, we. Yeah, that would be an interesting feat, yes. actually, since it hasn't arrived. The uh, Star Trek dress is coming, though. and We do have the soft serve, and I'm hoping that the soft serve and the Star Trek will come at the same time. All right. Now, here's the deal. Intended use: screens for the presence of alcohol in human breath. Used in the diagnosis oh, of alcohol breath. intoxication. If you do, if, I mean, if I were a CHP officer and I looked you in the eyes right now, I'd say, get off the road, boy. <laughs> uh, no, we're going to see here uh, a lot of information about alcohol. If it is, uh, you know, I think in the state of California, 0.01, right? What is the, what is the, 08, 08. 0.08, okay. So if you, if you blow, uh, you know, that's what, uh, if you, if, 01 for minors means anything, right? All right. So if you blow 0.08, as they say in the, uh, in the, in the biz, now, we have an optional mouth cover. Would you like the optional mouth cover? Sure. Okay, no one's used this before. All right. Then we pull this thing out here. What did this cost, Jason, while I'm doing this? Can you, can you find that? There's the optional mouth cover. Now, let me see here. We've got to do this quite right. we got to follow the instructions. Okay, step one, attach optional mouth cover. Step two, press the start button. There's no start button. <laughs> no. Is that it? So it takes batteries, right. right? You put batteries Yeah, I put in a battery, it? and it came with a battery. Okay, okay it's going to be in a countdown. Ten, nine, eight. When the countdown approaches, two, begin to inhale a deep breath. Ready? Begin to inhale a deep breath. Inhale now. And then ready? Inhale now. Now, <laughs> blow, you son of a bitch. Okay, keep blowing until the red dot appears. Okay, blow, blow. Once it is in a line, okay, you can stop now. Blow through the mouthpiece for five seconds until the beep sound comes on. You are testing at point one four, sir. You are too drunk to uh, drive my bicycle. <laughs> Holy cow! Wait a minute. Let me read what it says at point one four. That doesn't sound right. Is that possible? You're twice. You're twice the legal limit. 
It says uh, 0.13. 0.13 is gross motor impairment and lack of physical control. Is your vision blurred? Is your major loss of balance? Do you feel euphoric, sir? Well, this thing obviously works. Working here, I always feel euphoric. All right. <laughs> Who else has been drinking? Let's uh, by try the, it. By the Wait way, I haven't been drinking. Let uh, me try it, okay? Twenty nine ninety nine oh, for the breath alone. I haven't been drinking. So he, he he's clearly intoxicated. But let's see, because if it shows the same for me, then it's not very effective. Well, wait a minute. You 13. need a new filter. Because no, it's just for germs. He doesn't have you. You had enough alcohol in there. You're safe. All right. <laughs> okay. let's, he killed all the germs. Six, five, four, three, two. Ready? Okay. I He's am point zero zero, zero right? Correct. Am I right? Am I right? No alcohol present at all. Let's let's do it again. Just yeah, let's just try see, that again. Now he's ingested it. It should really be bad. All right. <laughs> all right. Now it's got to It's. I think it takes some time to reset. It's thinking. All right. You ready? Okay. Thirteen. This is good. This works. Twelve. Eleven. Ten. Ozzy, you want to try it? Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Take a deep breath. Three, two, one. Blow your son of a gun. Blow that little. Oh, my God. You are hammered. <laughs> FL, what does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> okay, the user did not blow immediately after the countdown. The user oh, did not blow continuously. Oh, you may have alcohol in your saliva. FL means fail. <laughs> Oh, okay. you got to wait 20 minutes after your last drink to make ah. sure the alcohol is fully absorbed. So who's been drinking about half an hour ago? Oh, man, I started. <laughs> oh, the whole spam. Yeah. <laughs> All right, who just had a couple of shots? Alex, did you want to try this? You had a shot. Well, that's good. That will be a good test. Right. We know that Glenn's too drunk to drive. All right, go ahead. Now, when it gets to two, you take it. a breath and you blow when it's zero. Okay, so he took it. I think he did it too soon. Okay, seven, six, five, four. Four. This is so you can think about your sins. Two, one, blow your blow your heart out there. Okay, that's good. That's good. And the answer is .05. That's about right. One shot. Driving home. One shot. You can drive. Go ahead. Get in the car. Here's the keys. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I think that works. We got oh. a .14 with you after three or four shots. One shot, .05. I haven't had any .00. Anybody else want to try this? Anybody else want to have a drink? Everybody, come on, have a drink, please. Be my guest. You don't know what you're going to get. Some of you are going to get Jägermeister. Some of you are going to get uh, Grey Goose. Some of you, go ahead, have a, take the whole bottle. You, you, should, kind of you, deserve, you deserve better. I think we have so, a screenshot. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants the Glenn Farkless? Have some Glenn Farkless. That's the best $300 bottle I ever bought. Cheers. And it's empty. So there you go. So you get the idea of the game is you yeah. spin, you, and then if you get the number. Now, the, the thing that you should know is there's only there's many numbers on the wheel. There's only uh, 16 glasses. So each of these glasses has two numbers <laughs> on it. So that's what threw me a little bit. Uh, I don't know. What is it? Is it uh, uh, like, uh, no, that's good whiskey. That's good whiskey. There's three numbers on some. There's two numbers on others. I want the good there's stuff. There's also red and black. So you could bet red or black. If you want to get drunk faster. I don't know. That's kind of fun. That's kind of fun. What'd you think of the Glenn Farkless? <laughs> Thank you, sir. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? Why don't you just take that whole bottle with you and you serve. Wow. There's only a few glasses left in there. That's really personal. All right. Um. <laughs> All right. Who's had the most? So, Leo, is the breathalyzer also from Sky Mall? Yeah, they're both from Sky Mall. I oh, thought it'd okay. be good to, good to test them together. Who wants to Who wants to blow into my little meter? <laughs> Well, I think you're um, going to need a lot more liquor to get more than to one shot. That. Come on, anybody? Oh, you all I think I think I think Alex had quite a few shots after I gave him the bottle. We'll test him a little later on before he goes home. You had two, Brad Radford? All right, let's try it. Come here. Our newest employee. I'm going to do this before we uh, let people come in at all, right? All right, so it's counting down from uh, 13. When it gets to two, take a nice deep breath, and you're going to blow for at least five seconds into that little mouthpiece, which I've sanitized for your protection. Okay. Uh, four, <laughs> three. Okay. Keep blowing. Keep blowing. Keep blowing. You hear the little, little, little line? That's good. How many times have I heard that? Keep blowing. Okay, stop now. Okay. Point two four. You're wow. really wasted. Man. You're schwacked. <laughs> Holy cow. Wait a minute. I got to look that one up. Oh, we got to test Tony. 
Tony said the most. Tony's wobbling. Tony, are you driving home tonight? Okay, dose. <laughs> <laughs> that dep depends on what this thing. According says. to according to this, Radford should need assistance in walking. Total mental confusion. <laughs> Dysphoria with nausea and some vomiting. I'm sorry. Wow. You if it should, hasn't happened already. That, that's a little high. I think that's probably because he had some alcohol in his uh, mouth. So mm, swallow all the alcohol. I like that cleaning action. That's really good. Yeah, it's clean now. Yeah. Well, I have another. I have another nib. Wait a minute. Let's put a clean one on here. Yeah, I think. I think a clean one every eight people is really good. I don't think an alcohol swab really is the good idea on the breathalyzer. You've ruined it. Okay. No. Jeez. Please. You're one thousand percent. Yeah, you, 0.24 was not accurate, but that's because I think that really is because. Uh, so it comes with three of these little uh, hand washable mouthpieces. Yeah, let's get. What are you trying to sabotage this experiment? Here, have an alcohol swab. Now, well, wait a minute. Let's see what happens here. I'll blow through the alcohol swab. Oh, that's good. Let's see how much alcohol. How much alcohol? <laughs> Four, three, two. All right. Does it in indicate when to stop? FL, rolling? see it new. Yeah, it says five seconds. And it does beep, uh, supposedly beep. So that was clearly the wrong thing to do, and I've probably broken this forever. <laughs> probably, actually. <laughs> All right. Anyway, that's but it cool. Worked. It worked. It worked. It worked. And I mean, I mean, we don't actually know because I'd have to draw blood. But I think, uh, and I'm not. Oh, wait I'm a not minute. Get the other that. kit that we got from Sky Mall. Get the Sky Mall. Oh, doctor the Sky kit. Mall doctor kit. We have that. Do you want to try Tony one more time? Who, who, who is Tony? Or do you, how many? Sh he only had one. All right. I, I. How drunk are you? I had a beer and then a shot. A beer and a shot. Okay, that's good. And he's not wearing any pants. Come on. 12, 11, 10, so do do? 9. Wait till it gets to 2, then take a deep breath, then blow for 5 seconds. 7, 6, 5. If you actually can understand the instructions, you're not drunk. 2, 1, blow. You got it, Alex. Harder. Oh, oh, we're coming. Okay, on that's, you. Good. that's good. That's good. Do it. Do it. <laughs> He's not drunk at all. Huh. <laughs> do we not have. At least one like alcoholic that drinks when they wake up in the first thing in the morning well, that works here. Want. Come on, somebody that's who, what we need. Somebody who's been drunk that's since up. eight a.m. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Anyway, I, I think this works pretty well. It doesn't, you know. I, I'm sure it says in here somewhere not legal for government use or something. But uh, and Jason, did you find out what that cost? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's thirty a, bucks. Thirty bucks. 30 bucks. Oh, okay. That's pretty good. So okay. you got a party game and before your... Uh, oh, wait a minute. Calibration instructions. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no. D a professional technician is required to recalibrate. So that's that's oh, just... Yeah. Uh, that's if you want to get it recalibrated, they, you can send it back. It's calibrated during manufacture. So I think that's... I think that it was zero for me. It was, you know, it was measurable for the rest of you. <laughs> It does say wait 20 minutes after drinking, eating, and smoking yeah. before testing. Uh, do not blow smoke, food, or liquids into the back backtrack. Do not test in areas with strong winds. Um, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. It might blow out of your hand. I don't know. Dick, we got some vodka left. We, can I send this to you? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm 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 game So for as that. I mentioned that was we are not going to do any more Sky Mall uh, stuff uh, we've got so much backlog I've got 7 or 8 weeks worth of Sky Mall stuff good. so we are Very we good. have plenty more to do but we're not going to do any more Sky Mall votes but we were thinking maybe we should maybe there's another website maybe Think Geek uh, Lisa was saying stuff I saw you know you bought on TV that's a good one uh, uh, so we're going to maybe look for something else okay Yeah and All if right. anybody has any suggestions, they can send it to uh, gizwiz at twit.tv. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Uh, Dick. Stupid things Leo should buy. <laughs> More crap. I'm, I'm crap. keeping this around for, for, for the kids. This is good when, uh, when uh, Henry and his friends, have, you know, I run into them and say, wait, wait, wait it's, come here. Come here, kid. Oh, you're going to be very popular. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what was, hey, Leo, <laughs> Henry's what's the dad game has for? a breathalyzer. Stay away. Huh? 
What's the game called? Uh, you know, I'll look at the box, but I, I think it, 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 it doesn't seem to really have a name. Um, in fact, <laughs> it, well, it puts it in many different languages. So here it's roulette. Where, where's the camera? There it is. Roulette à boire, à boire which means drinking roulette. Here's drank roulette. That might okay. be the English because I don't see any other English. Uh, thinker, think roulette. Uh, chupa roulette. Uh, roulette com copos shot. Shot glass roulette. There, 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 there's the English. Oh, there it there's is. There's the English. There it is. And like roulette, bicchierini. Bicchierini. Um, so it's on Sky Mall, and it's, uh, it's shot glass roulette. Roulette. It's kind of, uh, you know, it reminds me a lot of, have you ever bought those roulette games that you see in the drugstores where they're just kind of cheesy? It's very much like that. Yeah. Um, but at least now I have 16 shot glasses. $19.99 for that. Yeah, it's, it's okay. exactly oh, okay. what it's worth. Yeah. But I think the two together is a nice combination. And it comes with all that liquor, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, 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 no. the no. $19.99, I'd get a set. And, and by the way, you could do, uh, as uh, somebody in the chat was pointing out, you don't have to just do numbers. You could do black or red, and then you choose from a black or a red shot. Maybe you put water in the reds, and I don't know. I, I don't know how you would play a game, but I'm sure you could. You guys are ingenious enough you could figure out a game uh, to go with us. Nice. Very cool. Or you could just put, you know, put root beer in it. And just get the kids yeah. buzzed on uh, on sugar. Now I see why Crazy Guggenheim always had a bar rag. These guys are slobs. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you've not done it before, I highly recommend uh, that you pay a visit to the beautiful island of Manhattan. That's where Walt Disney first conceived of Mickey Mouse. And you'll see them around everywhere. Those cute, lovable little rodents in white gloves. They just run around and laugh at you. <laughs> Everywhere you go in Manhattan. That's one of the reasons I love it. The other reason I love it, of course, everybody's favorite stop on the Island of Manhattan tour, Dick's Gadget Warehouse. There we go. They're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, uh -huh. he takes them out to play. Whoa. Ladies and gentlemen, the master of ceremonies at Dick's Gadget Warehouse, Dickie D. Leo, Leo, Hello. we luckily have another viewer's gadget warehouse Ooh. entry, and actually, he has a gadget that was Time Magazine said was one of the one uh, one of the one hundred most important gadgets ever. Oh. Uh, I'll read you his letter. My name, hi, uh, hi guys. My name is Scott Wyant. I'm from Truman, Arkansas. I posted a video submission for my gadget warehouse. Uh, I thought you might be able to, to use it in your show. Mm -hmm. My gadget is the Diamond Rio. Oh, I had one of those. Yeah. First MP3 PM player I ever had. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. The, I, I love the show. I love the host. Thanks for your consideration, Scott. Wyand. This is how I listened to uh, Audible books when I first got on Audible back yes, in 2000. Yes, it was Audible compliant. Audible so compliant. Scott, here is his video. Hello, Dick and Leo. I'd like to show you something from my gadget warehouse that's about 15 years old. It almost didn't even get to market due to some legal problems, but when it did, it pretty well transformed the music industry and started the MP3 revolution. I'm speaking, of course, of the Diamond Rio PMP 300. Now, it wasn't the first one to hit the market, but it was the first one to gain widespread commercial success. This little version I have here with the first one released, it's a 32 megabytes of internal memory and the ability to add an additional 32 megabytes through a, a multimedia card slot. Now, I used one of those big multimedia cards that was kind of floppy, I would show you, but I have no idea where mine is. Um, it had very rudimentary controls. You had, of course, the play, pause, fast forward, rewind, stop. And it also had a randomizer button. It had some button that would called A, B, you press it and it would start a loop. Then you pressed it again and that would be the end and it would play that loop. I don't know what get that was. I, didn't, <laughs> I wasn't a DJ or anything. Uh, there was 
four preset equalizer settings that you access through the a button on the top. Oh. Ah! Ah! Hold on. What's going on? I'm scared! <laughs> Hello, Dick and Sorry, Leo. Yeah. I've actually been about uh, 12 hours. Oh, Does he live oh, yeah. in the haunted house, the haunted mansion at Disneyland? <laughs> yeah, I switched so. away from it. Sorry about that. Uh, someone there. just came out of that you clock. Can, you can listen to about 30 minutes. There are no windows. So That's my bad. Sorry about that. No doors. And the addition of a 32 megabyte card, I encoded my music at 56 kilobits per second, and I could put three albums on there. It was powered by a single AA battery, and you would get about 12 hours playback through that. It did have a couple little drawbacks to it. One significant drawback was was the battery cover. It was made with very cheap plastic, and of course the AA battery is spring-loaded to provide enough tension to, to hit the contacts, and that would tend to cause a lot of stress along the plastic, and it would most of them that you see nowadays will have cracks off through there. And of course, the little battery cover was prone to falling off. Also, on the, the ring around here and the, the little toggle, a lot of times the, the silver coating on it would flake off and it would really look kind of chintzy. Now, I haven't had any problems like that with this one. One major drawback that it had, which wasn't a drawback at the time, but it's a significant drawback now, is that you, in order to get music onto this thing, you had to attach this. Yeah, there was computer. no USB. Oh, my God. Parallel well, the old folks right? will probably recognize what this is, but the newer viewers won't have any idea. This is a parallel port adapter. I don't even have a computer anymore that has a parallel port, so I can't even put anything on here. I would hook it up to my stereo so that you could hear the sound quality of it, <laughs> but you which can. was pretty good. <laughs> but it doesn't have anything on there. I don't know where the memory card is. And like I said, I don't even have a computer with a parallel port that would allow me to transfer any music on here. Other than that, it, it was a great little device. Uh, I've had it. Since it came on the market in 1998, the end of 1998, I plan on keeping it till I'm not around anymore. Maybe I can find a museum that would like Show it. Show the kids, you bet. That's the Diamond Reel PMP300 MP3 player. Started a revolution, and I will love it. Love your show. Y'all have a great day. Bye-bye. That is awesome. Now I yeah, didn't. I didn't have the three hundred. I had the five hundred. It's successor, which was did have a USB port, and that made a big difference. Came out oh, a year later. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so you have that one, huh, Dick? Yeah, I did. Wow, I that's did. a classic. Well, I also, <laughs> also had a computer that had a parallel port. Right. Well, so did we all. But uh, it was a yeah. lot easier with the USB. A lot faster too. Oh yeah, absolutely. So Scott, thank you. If you want to submit a video, we're looking for a video like Scott. Also, Scott is is a real gadget freak. It doesn't work. He can't find the card. But doesn't I love play. it. But I'm gonna pass it on to my kids. That'll show how much I thought of them. Yeah. Uh, so uh, send us a video, two to three minutes, um, in any one of four categories. My favorite gadget of all time. Uh, my gadget warehouse gadget, like Scott, something that's old, but you want to hang on to it. I bought a piece of crap. If you bought something that thought was wonderful and it's not, you can uh, get your frustration out by making a video. Or I invented this. Uh, post it on YouTube and send us the link at gizwiz at twit.tv. And Jason and I will take a peek at it. So there you go. There you go. And now it's time for a letter. <laughs> yeah, speaking of, we Whoa. should probably retest somebody before the end of the oh, show. Oh, that's a good idea. Like maybe that's Glenn. a good idea. Glenn will come back and we'll retest him. That's a great idea. Because okay. now he's had a chance to ingest. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> now he is wobbling as now he walks. He's, he's not going to make it, I don't think. <laughs> Let's hear that letter. Okay, the letter is from Lewis. 
And Lewis writes, first of all, I have to say I'm a big fan of the show and the work that you and Leo and the crew, even including Dennis, do together. I currently live in Brazil. I travel a lot. It's funny how many times I saw useless stuff on in airplane magazines, but of course the king of them all was Sky Mall. Oh yeah. I have a request to you and Leo. Actually, more to Leo, mm. who's willing to put three hundred dollars into a, a dress. dress. I saw the the Makey Box M A K I B O X. It's only two to three hundred dollars. Oh, it's a, it's a three D printer. Uh, maybe you could review it or ask the audience about it. I really want to get a little 3D printer, but I'm afraid this one might not be as good as the ostrich pillow. Uh, <laughs> hope the weather in New York gets uh, better soon. Regards, Lewis in Brazil. Yeah, you know, I'm very intrigued by the Maki box, um, or the mock box, I guess. Uh, the only, I just, you know, the, the, uh, the maker bot is is like a couple of thousand dollars. I don't know what yeah, you could I do know. for three hundred bucks. Yeah. Now, it, now, is this a, a a project or is this actually in production? No, I think I don't think it's in production. I think this oh, is okay. this is uh, something somebody wanted to do. Well, wait a minute. Let's go to the store, the Maki Box store, and see what they're selling. Yeah, I get. I guess. I guess you can buy it. Oh, it says owned by Lewis in Brazil. <laughs> no wonder. <laughs> it comes... Sneaky. Now, it's, this is the $300 stainless steel version. Although, if you want to spend $400, it comes with its own ramen. Clear, yellow, black. This is very intriguing. I don't I don't know... Uh, but Liz would look terrible in this. It's not a dress I would want her to wear. But maybe no. I could print a dress. Oh, there yeah. <laughs> you go. Yeah. There you go. Well, it looks like they do sell it. Now, let me look at the supplies. I, I imagine, yeah, it's ABS plastic, which, and it comes in different colors. Uh, that's that's pretty standard. You can buy it in filament or in pellets. Um, hmm. Well, I, that's, boy, I tell you, the price is right on this. I'll have to read up more about it. Does anybody in the mm -hmm. chat room own uh, one of these? Um, the the Maki box? Yeah. Very you intriguing. You know what? If anybody owns Box, one of these okay. and they want to do a little video for us to show on the show, that would be great. Yeah. Well, there are some videos from the Makey Box uh, folks. There it is printing. Howdy, folks. It's a, uh, you know, I mean, Box I don't know how they do it here. so cheaply, but boy, that's tempting. So uh, Wouldn't that be fun? I could print stuff out. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Maybe, you could make uh, one of those breathalyzers for everybody in the studio. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, so I'm gonna what? mute his sound because, uh, but uh, but this is very intriguing. Do you have to build it? You must have to assemble it. Well, you have guys who do that oh, kind of thing. Oh, you talked me into it. Fun. All right, I'll order one of them and uh, we'll find out more about it. That's a great idea. Wow. Yeah, wow. The, the makey box. See how easy okay. that is. Yeah, yeah, Lewis, and then, you make it your wish. And then 15 years from now, I'll come on the Gizwiz. I remember this, my first 3D printer. <laughs> uh, and then you'll say, Dick, did I, did I, when did I order this? I said, Leo, you were dead drunk. I, I have the breathalyzer to prove it. All right, where's Glenn? Did he make it? Come on, he was sitting down. Uh, that's a good sign. So, Glenn, you remember the uh, drill on this? Uh, I've, took, I've taken the uh, tubes off just to blow right into the black thing. I'm going to count down. Uh, 13, 12, 11. I think my, one of the mistakes, I was holding down the start button. I don't think I need to do that. So, 7, 6. You're going to breathe in when I get to 2 and then breathe out for 5 seconds. 4, 3, 2. Breathe in and go. Glenn had how many, how many shots? <laughs> okay, that's enough. How many fingers am I holding up, Glenn? He's dead sober, ladies and gentlemen. Not a single drop of, I think we've broken the thing. <laughs> Oh. Not a single drop of alcohol in him. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I we're think that washing it in alcohol might, that might have, have been, been a bad a idea. <laughs> it measured nothing, Glenn. Oh. Are you a human being? Do you, Glenn, do you feel it a little tipsy? <laughs> a little bit. Yeah. So he's definitely uh, a little inebriated. Yeah. Free to go run you, you can go run errands. Uh, I think uh, just if the police officers pull you over, tell you you tested it before you left. <laughs> And that excuse, <laughs> officer. I'm not. I have drunk. a breathalyzer. Backtrack makes uh, you know some well-known breathalyzers. I, maybe we're doing something wrong. Don't know. 
That was interesting. Maybe I broke it. I think I probably did with the alcohol thing. Or Good maybe it needs to be recalibrated. Yeah, and everybody has to drink all over again. We're going to start what over. A chore. Let's do the show again. Dick <laughs> D. Bartolo is the Gizwiz. Go to gizwiz.biz. That's his website where you can play the What the Heck is That game. That's how you say it. What, is that what the thing? heck is that? Take a couple of drinks and guess what it is. Yeah, you're probably better off because, you know, there's only 12 <laughs> autographed Mad Magazines for the right answer, there's 24 for the silliest you know what wrong it is, answer. Leo? It's actually the poor man's roulette wheel. <laughs> yeah, there's only one. <laughs> Place for the ball to fall. Yeah, exactly. Round and round she goes. Where she stops, we know exactly. What could that be? It's, I'm telling you, there's a there's a hole at the top for screwing into the wall. There's a, it's a magnetic door knocker. You just you fooled us by f turning it around. That's why. No, no uh, hits for me, pal. All right. you have, I'm how long? sober. I am not. <laughs> how long is this going on? End of this month or next? The end this of month. this month. End of April. Yeah. All right. So you got the 30 days left, a little less, 26, to uh, figure out what the heck that is. And then email Dick. Read the rules at the website. Gizwiz. Yeah. Dot. Dot. Is. Dickie D, thank you so much for being here. We do the Gizwiz every Tuesday, 3 p.m. Pacific, 6 p.m. Eastern time, sometimes 5, sometimes earlier. It just varies whenever we're in the mood. Uh, at uh, twit.tv, you can watch live. If you don't. Well, screw you. No, if you don't, you can download <laughs> audio and video on demand. No the more alcohol for that man. <laughs> After the fact, at twit.tv slash gizwiz or wherever podcasts are stored, aggregated, and forwarded into your inbox. That way you'll get each and every one if you subscribe. Thank you, Dickie Day. I'll be here. <laughs> I'll see you next week. I'll be here yet My again. My timing's off a little bit. Weekly Daily Gizwiz. A weekly gives